Hi YouTube, what's up Junkers? Uh, we are back, we took a little bit of time off, we went on a vacation together, and here's Adam, I'm just gonna let you know he's here listening, <laughs> might chime in and talk a little bit, but we took a little vacation, needed some time off to recoup and relax, it's highly recommended when you're running a business to give yourself some time to relax and enjoy life. But, so yeah, that's why my face is a little bit burnt, and I put some kind of spray on there. <laughs> He's laughing at me, but I put a spray on my face, and it caused a reaction, and so I look like a tomato. Not so bad in the camera, though. It's kind of, okay. But anyways, um, today I was asked by a fellow drunker to make a video about precautions for bed bugs, and... Um, he may have been joking, but it's actually a pretty serious topic and maybe you're considering taking on a job with infestations and maybe you're thinking about passing it. Um, a lot of people will tell you, Hell, heck no, pass that, don't do it, run. Um, I've done a few infestation jobs, like including cockroaches and, uh, you know, mice, spiders, whatever, you know, it, it happens there's gonna be a lot of bugs and junk removal and that's totally up to you whether you take these jobs on or not I'm not telling you to do it but I believe that we will take the proper safety precautions that we can and it's always going to be a little gamble because one bed bug can turn into a million bed bugs overnight but um, I was gonna give some tips and um, from other I from other business owners and just what I've collected and just from my own personal experience of, you know, how we handle situations when it um, becomes a job that you want to do, but you have noticed that there's going to be bed bugs. So, we are going to do a bed bug, but bed bug job next week. Uh, we decided that we're going to take it on. Um, I thought about it, and I already went in the place to go bid it. The bugs do look like they were pretty much, like, already dead. Um, but you never know, you know, that they could still be alive. And when they're so infested, they're not just on the beds no more. They're on the couch, they're in clothes, they're on the floors, they're on the ceilings, walls, they're, they're everywhere. That's, um, how bed bugs are. They're not going to just be on the bed anymore when it's that bad. They're even on the toilet, so don't use the toilet. Yeah, don't use the toilet. <laughs> you watched my previous video, I already said that. But anyways, um, so... Our plan for the, taking on this bed bug job, we are going to be wearing Tyvek suits and we are going to tape around our wrist and we're going to tape around our ankles and we're probably going to try to wear like a slip a slipper boot. Um, it's like the, pla the plastic stuff that you throw on over your shoe and if we don't do that, we're going to spray the bottom of our shoes with alcohol because that is how they don't stick to the bottom of your shoe and you're not traveling and bringing them home because they could get stuck to the bottom of your shoe. So spray with alcohol. Spray your truck cab with alcohol. Take everything out of your truck. Everything out of your truck. Like papers, receipts, your um, safety vest, helmets, whatever you keep in your truck. The day that you do an infestation job, take it all out. Take it all out, spray it with some alcohol, spray it, you know, um, I was just recommended, um, by a fellow junker, a, a really awesome business owner in the junk removal business, um, he said ortho home defense for, uh, bed bugs and, like, fleas, and it kills them, like, instantly, so that's another good product that you could bring, um, we're also going to spray ourselves with DEET, uh, bug spray mosquito spray so we're going to spray ourselves with that because they're they're not going to want to cling on to our suits and even though we're wearing suits i'm still going to spray my guys anyways that's just what we're going to do um you don't have to wrap the furniture um some people will say wrap the furniture up um if your state doesn't make you wrap up it um the bugs like i said are already we think dead but we don't know for sure uh we don't have to we're just going to take the take the furniture out, load it up in the trailer. In the trailer, we are going to put a tarp down so that way we could just throw the whole tarp away too as well. And we're going to pressure wash our trailer right after we dump. Um, we're not gonna bring it back home. We're going to go straight to the car wash and just wash the heck out of it, right? Um, so when you're done with the job and your suits are off, 
also um like a shower cap kind of hair net if you're you got hair it, it would just be smart to put a little cap on over your head too so we're gonna be completely covered right um tape on our wrists tape on our ankles uh spray our shoes with alcohol spray our truck before the job spray our truck after the job clean our trailer out dump all of that out and do a thorough wash because just one bed bug is not going to be worth the job um with bed bugs of course you are going to charge more um normally this can be like double your load fee it really just depends on how bad it is and when you go see it in person i can't exactly tell you what to bid um like I think this is kind of my first like big bed bug job I've been doing junk removal for over a year though so I'm pretty sure I've ran into like way more bed bugs I I have I mean but nothing like as bad as this one so this one's like to the point where I can actually see the bed bugs um but I luckily didn't see them moving but also I didn't s sit there and stare at them all day long either so I don't really I didn't really want to be in there my I was not in a type X suit and I was not ready um to be in there for a long period of time but anyways that's also just a risk if you want to take it that's up to you and if you don't want to take it you don't have to do jobs like this there's going to be other companies that will do jobs like this and you can't be thinking like oh they're they're awful people because they take jobs like that or like people will tell you not every job's meant for you of course not because i don't take every single job trust me i have passed a lot of jobs around i've gave a plenty of work to other people and other companies and subcontracted them out i don't want nothing to do with them sometimes so yeah not every job is for you but this one's pretty simple it just has some bug bugs on it um and that's just something like we're gonna we'll gamble with and we're gonna do and see how it goes gotta just wish us the best right <laughs> But, um, yeah, so other than that, you know, just take your pr proper precautions. Don't ever do a bed bug job and then just come home and go to bed or something. Go home, make sure all your clothes are off. Try your best not to be hugging the mattress or any, <laughs> don't be hugging anything in there. Yeah, don't, just get it all in and out. Wear gloves. Wait. Also, we are going to take our clothes off, um, probably just like in our garage even after we take off the t Tyvek suits, we're going to throw those away, of course. But then we're going to get home and also take our clothes off, put those in a bag, and then we're going to go jump in the shower. So there's just steps like that you want to take when dealing with those um, little nasty creatures. You know, I wish they didn't exist, but they do. And even though if you don't think that you, you do bed bugs, I'm pretty sure we've all ran into bed bugs. We throw away hundreds of mattresses a month. So I would assume that I have actually probably touched and played with a few of them. So <laughs> we've had some pretty interesting jobs just happen recently where um, somebody had a pet lizard and we didn't know that they had totes full of big cockroaches to right. feed that lizard. And the, Big cockroaches like you see in the movies. Like you see in the movies. They were big cockroaches that were shipped out here and the tote opened and they went all over our trailer. So that was another thing where we didn't have a full load and we had to go straight to the dump and follow these precautions that we take just so we don't bring those kind of bugs home because that's like the last thing anybody wants uh but yeah um that's pretty much what we're gonna do for bud bugs and i do normally want um places treated before but not every time um some people are in a time crunch and that's up to you if you want to take on the job up the bid and try to do it anyways um and take that gamble um, everything is a little risky and could be a liability. You can make your own rules out in your contracts that if you were to bring bed bugs home from a job on Willie, like, and they didn't tell you that the place had bed bugs and they knew that there was an infestation, that way you're covered. Um, there's things you could go about, you know, legal matter wise, in case you are like too careful to take on jobs like this. Um, I'm just going to say that we're gonna do it and we're not that fearful and there's many other junkers out there that do do it and that doesn't make anybody better than anybody if you do or don't do it and you know but like I don't really do dirt and concrete right now and I don't think like I would ever really want to I just 
don't find it that fun, I guess, but um, there, you, you got to enjoy what you're doing, you know, it's a little scary bug, okay, that, that it's a little scary job, but, you know, I'm still going to enjoy my day, I'm still going to take the proper precautions, and I know it's something, like, I could probably do again. I've done roaches before, fine, you know, I just got to pray, pray to the God set. We just keep doing um, the right thing and we just keep taking the proper precautions and like you train your employees to take the proper pr precautions and you just, you got to monitor everything and that's what we're going to do. But yep, that's our bed bug uh, video. I have more videos I'm going to do. I had so much to say over vacation and when I was down I was sick for a few weeks um, so I haven't been able to do too much but I'm about to be dropping some more videos next. Alright, stay safe and don't let them bed bugs bite.